Hey, Echo. I think I'd master every musical instrument. That would be epic. Classic Nova. Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. We got an exciting one today about frame pack image to video. This can create videos up to a minute long with minimal VRAM. And I had the kind of fun idea to recreate some of those viral YouTube short podcast. That is going to be what this video is about. I'm going to be using Artificial Studio to show how to do this. It basically, it's basically a tool that allows you to configure company UI and download all the newest models without having to actually do all the technical work in the background. So if you're interested in giving this a shot, send me a message on Patreon or Discord and I'll add you to the beta. Okay, so if you're just interested in the workflows and download links, you can just head to the Patreon link in the description and you can check those out here. The links to all the models are in this .sh file. If you download it and open it up, it's just a text file and you can get all the download links and where to put them in here. Okay, if you're gonna use Artificial Studio, all you need to do is open it up, head to the Model Downloader tab, and check Frame Pack, and then Download. All right, I already have all the models downloaded, so it'll not, it'll complete instantly. And then head over to the app links and go to Comfy UI. In Artificial Studio, all of the workflows are already created for you with the correct model paths. So let's just look up Frame Pack, and it's right there. I have a couple images here that I'm going to use. So I'm gonna use these two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate 20 seconds of video for both of them using this workflow. All right, so you need to make sure you change your clip L and your Lava Llama. This uses Hunyuan as a base model, so that's why that's why it's, it has the type Hunyuan video there. The clip vision, make sure you use the downloaded clip vision. Make sure frame pack is your model and then if you can use Torch Compile, turn it on. Artificial Studio installs Torch Compile for you so you don't even have to worry about this. You can just always have it on for every workflow. And then make sure you have the Hunyun Video VAE as well. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. Instead of having frames, we have seconds. So you have a total second length. I'm gonna do 20 second videos and you can leave everything else just default. I've found that the defaults work pretty well. So I'd recommend just leaving them default. And then if you want larger base resolution, you can increase this. It'll change it to the correct bucket size for you because there's correct aspect ratio resolutions to use for frame pack. So just adjust that to what you want it to be. Remember that larger resolutions require more VRAM. So if you have less VRAM, try to go for a smaller base resolution to start and scale up from there. And the last thing, if you don't have Sage Attention installed, you can change it to Flash or SDPA. Again, Artificial Studio just gives you Sage Attention right out of the box. All right, so that's it. We're gonna let both of these, I'm gonna do a generation for each of these. Let's adjust the prompt. So I want to make it so that she's moving, but she's not moving her lips, right? Because if she's moving her lips, then I'm not gonna be able to get that back and forth between the two podcasters. So I want to say a beautiful brunette woman actively listening with her mouth closed and moving her. So let's let that run and see what we get. Okay, so here is the video we got of the brunette woman. And then here's the video that we got of the blonde woman. All right. So we're gonna end up putting these side by side and then we're gonna have one talk while the other is silent and then the other talk while the first one is silent. And it'll create like a cool podcasting back and forth effect. Okay, so the way that we're gonna do this is by using latent sync. So this is a pretty simple workflow. It's also in the Patreon if you need it. And I have a couple audio clips that I, ge I just generated with 11 Labs. 11 Labs allows you to create AI speech. Okay, so latent sync works at 25 frames per second. So I'm gonna force 25 frames per second in my load video upload. And then I have about a four second video. I'm gonna give it an extra second as buffer. So 
25 frames times five is 125. We're gonna run it through latent sync and then we're gonna get our output. And I will show you how to confirm that we have the right length for the video as well. Hey Echo, if you could instantly learn anything today, what would you pick? That is our lip synced video. And then let's do, I'll demonstrate one with the woman, with the blonde woman talking. All right, so here's our blonde woman video. And we have our audio that's gonna be the first time the blonde woman speaks. But now we need to have her start speaking after the brunette woman did. I am going to start it at one, 26 to frame 126 and then have it go to about says it's a six second video so 150 frames we're gonna go to 126 to 276 so let's run that oh tough one i think i'd master every musical instrument Imagine the concerts we could host. So now we're just gonna stitch all of those together in something like DaVinci Resolve or CapCut or any software like that after we've done all of our generations. And then this is what you should get. Hey Echo, if you could instantly learn anything today, what would you pick? Ooh, tough one. I think I'd master every musical instrument. Imagine the concerts we could host. That would be epic. I'd probably download every cooking recipe ever, then still burn toast somehow. Classic Nova. But hey, if you burn toast with perfect technique, is it really a mistake? All right, so that is it for this video. Obviously, the results are, they're decent, but you can do a lot better. One thing that I have heard is if you back away from the subject a little bit, so like, for, for these, I'm kind of like right up close to the subject. If you're farther away from the subject, like, you know, a waist up shot or something like that, latent sync looks much better, but really cool concept. We just saw Fantasy Talker release, which allows you to one-step these. So I would be interested to see if something like a frame pack combined with Fantasy Talker where you could generate the audio lip syncing at the same time the model is generating, that would be a game changer for AI and you know trying to create podcast-like content with AI. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you're interested in trying out Artificial Studio, you saw how seamless that made the process. Send me a message on Discord or Patreon or even leave a comment below and I will add you into the beta. Follow me on Patreon, follow me on x follow my other socials anywhere you can give me a follow really helps me out i appreciate you watching this video and i'll talk to you in the next one